I've had clients you know, complain that, wait a minute, you did it wrong. Why should I, I shouldn't be owing money? And then, you know, I show them box two and they say, well, that's not my fault. Well, not my fault either. <laughs> then I'm in the employer. I can only say what the employer is reporting. So that's one thing I look at. The next thing I look at is I look at box one compared to box three compared to box five. And I look to see, are those the same amounts? Okay? Are the same amounts in one, three, and five? Now, in this case, they are. But there may be reasons why they're different. Okay? Let's say George, instead of making uh, 141000 he made 241000 Well, he made 241000 The uh, The most that you're taxed in Social Security is 148000 Okay? And so box two, or box three, would have 148 and I can't remember, I think it was 600 or 900, I can't remember what, is the most Social Security you're taxed at. So that would be a reason they would be different. Or maybe George works at, maybe he did make 22, maybe George works at a restaurant and they do tips. Well, so his Social Security amount may be 20,000, 20, let's say 21,250, and down here in box seven, they put $20,000 of uh, Social Security tips. They just allocated it in a different spot. Okay? Um, so a couple of reasons why they may be different. Another reason why they may be different is uh, uh, you may have some tax deferred income. And we'll get to that in a minute. Box 12, 401k or something. Uh, or you may in box 14 have a cafeteria plan. So pre-tax dollars. Or one last area, you have uh, box 10, dependent care benefits. Your employer allows you to pre-tax, set aside money to pay for your daycare for your child. So let's say they put 5,000 here. Uh, that's subject to taxation. I'm sorry, that's not subject to taxation, but it is uh, subject to social security tax. So, you know, this, this may say 46,000, 5,000 goes to daycare, and um, so it's not taxed to you as long as it goes to daycare. Okay? So that's one of the things we're looking at with W2. We're looking at different things to give us clues because sometimes they're not telling us all the story. You know, I see, I see a dependent care benefit, and I'll say, well, George, you didn't talk to me about kids when I asked you questions. Do you have a child? Oh, yeah, yeah, I had a child last year. Did I not tell you that? Well, okay, that's going to change. We're going to have things. We're going to get the child tax credit. We're going to get credit for daycare. Um, we're going to, uh, you know, it, it, it has a great effect on the return. So sometimes the W-2 gives us clues of what to ask questions about. Uh, okay, so Yang's asking, uh, What's the difference between dependent care benefit and dependent care credit? The care fair benefits would be, and we'll, there will be a chapter that will be dealing with this, but dependent care benefits are pre-tax dollars that are withheld from your paycheck that are then used to pay the daycare expense. The daycare credit would be for monies that you're out, excluding this. So you have to subtract whatever dependent care benefits you had from a